Forsaken Garden by Algernon Charles Swinburne Read for LibriVox.org by Kristen Hughes In a coin of the cliff between lowland and highland At the sea down's edge between windward and lee Walled round with rocks as an inland island The ghost of a garden fronts the sea a girdle of brushwood and thorn encloses the steep square slope of the blossomless bed, where the weeds that grew green from the graves of its roses now lie dead. The fields fall southward, abrupt and broken, to the low last edge of the long lone land. If a step should sound or a word be spoken, would a ghost not rise at the strange guest's hand? So long have the grey bare walks lain guestless, Through branches and briars, if a man make way, He shall find no life but the sea winds, restless, night and day. The dense hard passage is blind and stifled, That crawls by a track none turn to climb, to the straight waste place that the years have rifled of all but the thorns that are touched not of time. The thorns he spares when the rose is taken, the rocks are left when he wastes the plain, the wind that wanders, the weeds wind shaken, these remain. Not a flower to be pressed of the foot that falls not. As the heart of a dead man the seed plots are dry. From the thicket of thorns whence the nightingale calls not, Could she call, there were never a rose to reply. Over the meadows that blossom and wither Rings but the note of a seabird's song. Only the sun and the rain come hither all year long. The sun burns sear and the rain dishevels One gaunt bleak blossom of scentless breath. Only the wind here hovers and revels In a round where life seems barren as death. Here there was laughing of old, there was weeping, Haply of lovers none ever will know, Whose eyes went seaward a hundred sleeping years ago. Heart, hand fast in heart as they stood, Look thither, did he whisper? Look forth from the flower to the sea, For the foam flowers endure when the rose blossoms wither, And men that love lightly may die, but we? And the same wind sang, and the same waves whitened, And or ever the garden's last petals were shed, in the lips that had whispered, the eyes that had lightened, love was dead. Or they loved their life through, and then went whither, and were one to the end, but what end, who knows? Love deep as the sea, as a rose must wither, as the rose-red seaweed that mocks the rose. Shall the dead take thought for the dead to love them? What love was ever as deep as a grave? They are loveless now as the grass above them, or the wave. All are at one now, roses and lovers, Not known of the cliffs and the fields and the sea, Not a breath of the time that has been hovers in the air now, Soft with a summer to be. Not a breath shall there sweeten the seasons hereafter, of the flowers or the lovers that laugh now or weep, when as they that are free now of weeping and laughter, we shall sleep. Here death may deal not again forever, here change may come not till all change end. From the graves they have made they shall rise up never, who have left not living to ravage and rend. Earth stones and thorn of the wild ground growing while the sun and the rain live these shall be 
till the last wind's breath upon all these blowing roll the sea till the slow sea rises and the sheer cliff crumble till terrace and meadow the deep gulfs drink till the strength of the waves and the high tides humble the fields that lessen the rocks that shrink here now in his triumph where all things falter stretched out on the spoils that his own hand spread as a god self slain on his own strange altar death lies dead end of poem this recording is in the public domain